A new uh, policy uh, here at the Hungry Eyes to bring you people who are in the news currently, and the gentleman you're about to meet could possibly be the most important man in any of our lives. He's the United States Air Force officer who has been chosen to be the first man sent into outer space. I'm referring to the chief astronaut with the United States Interplanetary Expeditionary Force, and here he is now. How do you do, sir? May we have your name? My name? Jose Manas. And you're the chief astronaut with the United States Interplanetary Expeditionary Force? I am the chief astronaut. <laughs> with the United States in the planet. My name is Jose Jimena. <laughs> Mr. Jimenez, could you tell us a little about your spacesuit? Yeah. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> how much? How much did the spacesuit cost? That spacesuit cost eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand dollars. Yeah. That seems rather expensive. Well, it has two pair of pants. <laughs> so that's only nine thousand yes. dollars. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing uh, this, Mr. Jimenez. What is this called? A crash helmet? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> Mr. Jimenez, you must have some opinions on the race for space. All right, I will. <laughs> I got one. Good. Were you a participant? at any of the rocket launchings at Cape Canaveral? I was a participant <laughs> at any of the rocket launchings at Cape Canaveral. I was there when they opened the door into the nose cone. They took their mouth and they put their mouth inside the nose cone. Then they closed the door on that little mouth. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mendes, please. Please, let's uh, try to continue here. Uh, I want to ask you, what is the most important thing in rocket travel? To me, the most important thing in the rocket travel is the blast off. The blast off. I always take a blast before I take off. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't get in that thing. <laughs> well, after that, what is the procedure in taking off? The procedure after that in taking off, mm -hmm. you got to put on the step-top hydraulic double dynamo reversible booster. You got to activate the decompression activator. And you got to put on the anti-magnetic gaussing assisting. And then you're really up there. No, that opens the door. <laughs> and lets out that little mouth. Do you think there will be uh, life on Mars? Maybe if I land on a Saturday night. <laughs> something might be happening. Otherwise, I'm going to bring a book. That's something I uh, wanted to ask you about, uh, Mr. Jimenez. Of course, it's a very long trip into outer space. Yes, it's a long trip. Uh, and I just wonder what you'll do to, uh, do to entertain yourself during those long, lonely, solitary hours when you're all by yourself. Well, I plan to cry a lot. <laughs> After you've uh, been into outer space, uh, yeah. Mr. Jimenez, and you return to Earth, yeah. where will you be landing? I am going to be landing in Nevada. In the state of Nevada? In the state of Nevada. Then you're convinced that they'll get you back to Earth? I am convinced that they will get me back to Earth. Good. Just how far into it? <laughs> Thank you.
That's what I'm not convinced about. Well, Mr. Jimenez, I think you're certainly to be congratulated for this very, very dangerous undertaking. Well, don't say undertaking. <laughs> um, mission. This very dangerous mission. That's a better choice of words. And before you go... Don't I even just... say go. <laughs> Before that, I just wonder if there are a few words that you'd like to say to the people of the United States. Yeah, there are a few words that I'd like oh, to say please go to ahead. people of the United States. People of the United States of America, please don't let them do this to me. Yeah.